in this lesson we will find shorthand ways of writing very large and very small numbers now power laws actually provide us a means of doing just this think about writing maybe 10 quintillion or maybe just 1 million how do we summarize this to occupy a very small space we will use power laws in order to express very large numbers or very small numbers in a way that is comfortable to us and this will be used throughout this course so it is important that you pay attention so follow with me now it is way easier to write 2 raised to the power 10 than to write 2 multiplied by itself 10 times. Now what do I mean by that? Look at it this way. We have 2 multiply by 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 which one is easier writing 2 multiplied by itself 10 times or just writing 2 raised to the power 10 in other words 2 raised to the power 10 is equivalent to 2 multiplied by 2 10 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is equal to 2 raised to the power 10. Now if we write for example 10 raised to the power 3 that means that we have to multiply 10 by itself 3 times so if we write 10 raised to the power 4 that means that we have to multiply 10 by itself 4 times so look at it this way 10 raised to the power 3 multiply by 10 raised to the power 4 this is 10 multiply by 10 multiply by 10 multiply by now we bring this 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is equal to 10 raised to the power 7 so what do you notice from here you will notice that um, 10 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 4 is equivalent to 10 raised to the power 3 plus 4 which is equivalent to 10 raised to the power 7 so we have summarized this process in a little bit of space so generally we can therefore say that x raised to the power a multiplied by x raised to the power b will be equal to x raised to the power a plus b. This is power law number one. Look at it this way. If we have 3 raised to the power 4 this is the same as 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 4 times if we have 3 raised to the power 2 this is 3 multiplied by 3 twice let's say we divide 3 raised to the power 4 by 3 raised to the power 2 
that will be equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 divided by 3 multiplied by 3 what do you notice this 3 this will take care of this this will take care of this so we are left with 3 multiplied by 3 which is just 3 raised to the power 2 so 2 what do you notice 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 so we can say that 3 raised to the power 4 divided by 3 raised to the power 2 is equal to 3 4 minus 2 which is equal to 3 raised to the power 2 so we can definitely conclude that um, a raised to x raised to the power a divided by x raised to the power b is equal to x raised to the power a minus b this is power law number two so so far we have seen two power laws one x raised to the power a multiplied by x raised to the power b this is equal to x raised to the power a plus b similarly the second power law is x raised to the power a divided by x raised to the power b this is equal to x raised to the power a minus b